Hello, I'm Dr. Tsui, the acupuncturist and herbalist, of course the artist. So today I'm going to explain uh, my painting, try to explain to you, and uh, because a lot of, because so new, so we have a lot of uh, uh, people don't understand, I, I understand that part. So because take a time to understand. So first uh, I uh, talk about, uh, I basically use yin and yang to create art. So it's like a Chinese medicine with yin and yang because that's where the universe where it come from. So the whole universe all have yin and yang. So and uh, also the painting itself, I going to I use uh, blindfolded to create art because I use try to without the eyes to create the uh, art to so have more yin because we have uh, too much yang. So we always talk about the yang, but we don't talk uh, too much about the yin. So that's why I blindfold it and try to get more in. So to cut this canvas, actually I cut the two canvas. Why I cut it? You know, because I find uh, uh, when I'm not cut it, so I find a little hard to breathe. So just so they interact, the airy, the uh, inside and outside. See, like inside is more yin and outside is more yang. And also the back, the uh, canvas, I use the uh, five elements of color. So the five elements of colors is a red, uh, red, yellow, and blue, and the black and white. So the red is very good for the heart. So that's the color, and the yellow is good for the digestion system, and the blue colors is good for the liver and the gallbladder, and the white is good for the lungs, and uh, the black is good for the kidney. So the heavy color they are mean something so they do affect our physical mental and spiritual condition so that's why it's very important and also the line so they are do affect the physical condition you don't have to like this painting because i have so many paintings and uh, for me to create this uh, art is more like a creative medicines you're not going to be able to like uh, all the medicine because if you're going to take all the medicines, it's uh, so not uh, going to really match for you. Because uh, the, each painting have a different feelings, have a different uh, level, of, level of yin and yang. So that's why it's very important to choose the right art. And of course, when they look at the art, even you like it so much, it sometimes it take about 20 to 30 minutes to view the art. So you need to go through the process. So don't try to just walk through it, then try to understand the art's work. So that's not possible. And uh, like any art, you cannot just go to the museum, walk through the whole museum, then you say, okay, I already know all the art, or you already get the right art, or the art's work, uh, you really have to choose. You have to take a time to review it. You cannot just walk through. So that's why I see you have to look at the art and also they cut. See these paintings is a cut a lot. So it's more like a, you know too much uh, action. So too much action and cut. And sometimes this actually this kind of paintings so is a very good reflect for the people who have a very steady life and uh, some they say there's a boring life because they have everything. They have money, have a good wife, a good husband, or have uh, kids, and uh, they uh, they have everything. So really, their life is uh, so smooth. And uh, sometimes they're looking for something excitement, and uh, that's why sometimes the art, so they can reflect, and uh, the people who collect the art. So that's why it's uh, this kind of paintings for that. And also, you have some red color and all those things, the five elements color, but they show more about the red. So this is more good for the heart. And uh, so it bursts you up a little bit and uh, looks like uh, you, you're looking for a little excitement. So that's what all this pen is about. So, uh, so I hope you, of course, we have a lot of white color so you still can breathe. So that's why recently my paintings have a lot of white color. But of course, you see, my moods, my thinking, I, my process, so they change too. 
So that's why it's as artist, it's a, it's a more art is more like a journey for the artist. So that's why I see they're always going to be different. So thank you for watching. So I'm going to talk uh, to have a more video like this. So explain more about my art. So in this way, so people don't get uh, too uh, anxious and uh, try when they don't understand, they first just get mad or the paintings. Uh, so because you don't get mad, arts have so many different arts. Just like uh, I enjoy a lot of art, and uh, but not necessary so much for me. So I have to create art for myself. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. One, I reach the integral way of uniting with the great and mysterious Tao. My teachings are simple. If you try to make a religion or science of them, they will elude you. Profound yet plain, they contain the entire truth of the universe. Those who wish to know the whole truth take joy in doing the work and service that comes to them. Having completed it, they take joy in cleansing and feeding themselves. Having cared for others and for themselves, they then turn to the Master for instruction. This simple path leads to peace, virtue, and abundance. 2. Men and women who wish to be aware of the whole truth should adopt the practices of the integral way. These time-honored disciplines calm the mind and bring one into harmony with all things. The first practice is the practice of undiscriminating virtue. Take care of those who are deserving. Also, and equally, take care of those who are not. When you extend your virtue in all directions without discriminating, your feet are firmly planted on the path that returns to the Tao. 3. Those who wish to embody the Tao should embrace all things. To embrace all things means first that one holds no anger or resistance toward any idea or thing, living or dead, formed or formless. Acceptance is the very essence of the Tao. To embrace all things means also that one rids oneself of any concept of separation, male and female, self and other, life and death. Division is contrary to the nature of the Tao. Foregoing antagonism and separation, one enters in the harmonious oneness of all things. 4. Every departure from the Tao contaminates one's spirit. Anger is a departure, resistance a departure. Self-absorption a departure. Over many lifetimes the burden of contaminations can become great. There is only one way to cleanse oneself of these contaminations, and that is to practice virtue. What is meant by this? To practice virtue is to selflessly offer assistance to others, giving without limitation one's time, abilities, and possessions in service, whenever and wherever needed, without prejudice concerning the identity of those in need. If your willingness to give blessings is limited, so also is your ability to receive them. This is the subtle operation of the Tao. 5. Do you imagine the universe is agitated? Go into the desert at night and took out at the stars. This practice should answer the question. The superior person settles her mind as the universe settles the stars in the sky. By connecting her mind with the subtle origin, she calms it. Once calmed, it naturally expands, and ultimately her mind becomes as vast and immeasurable as the night sky. 6. The Tao gives rise to all forms, yet it has no form of its own. If you attempt to fix a picture of it in your mind, you will lose it. This is like pinning a butterfly. The husk is captured, but the flying is lost. Why not be content with simply experiencing it? 7. The teaching of the integral way will go on as long as there is a Tao and someone who wishes to embody it. What is painted in these scrolls today will appear in different forms in many generations to come. These things, however, will never change. Those who wish to attain oneness must practice undiscriminating virtue. They must dissolve